What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. Today we are going to talk about the case of Shanquilla Robinson. We have an update, but you know, I was on TikTok and I was looking at a lot of videos of, you know, her funeral and people seeing certain things and her father speaking, you know, all types of videos that's involved with this case. And I'm going to say, um, it was one video that really stuck out to me is what at the funeral and it was a car circled and that was one of the cars of the person that went on vacation with Shanquilla. Okay. And I'm like the nerve, how, um, excuse me, what are you doing there? Because anybody that was there on that vacation with Shanquilla should not be at her services, her going home services should not. You know, that was very ballsy of them to do that. You're going to show up at her funeral. You wasn't a friend because if I was any friends to this young lady, she would still be alive and none of this stuff would have happened. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just talk about um, the update that I'm looking at right now. And I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all over talking about this case. The Mexican prosecutor issued an arrest warrant for a suspect in the death of an American woman who was vacationing at a luxury resort in San Jose del Cabo. And that is according to the reports. The warrant, which does not name the alleged suspect, comes as the death of Charlotte native Shanquilla Robinson was being probed as a violent crime. Now, Daniel De La Rosa Anaya, a local prosecutor for the state of Baja California Sur, noted the suspect was a friend of the victim. And like I said before, friends don't do this to other friends. This case is fully clarified. We even have a court order. There is an arrest warrant issue for the crime of femicide. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Now, actually, it was a quarrel. It wasn't a quarrel, but instead a direct aggression. We are carrying out all of the pertinent procedures, such as the Interpol alert and the request for extradition to the United States of America is about two Americans, the victim and the culprit. Now, we all saw that video of her being attacked and beaten, okay? Now, Robinson's death was originally thought to be alcohol poisoning, but a death certificate revealed the cause of death was a severed spinal cord and an instability of the first two neck vertebrae leading to the investigation. So basically her spinal cord, you know, her spinal cord and a broken neck. That's on the death certificate. Now footage, you know, emerged that showed Robinson being beaten inside a hotel room with Robinson's mother, Salamandra, telling the news station she recognized people in the video as friends who went on the trip with her daughter. Now, reports initially indicated the 25-year-old died 15 minutes after her spinal injury, but Robinson might have been actual, been actually been alive and received medical care for several hours before she was pronounced dead, according to a police report obtained by the Charlotte Observer. Now, the report states medical assistance was requested around 2.30 p.m. on October 29th by one of the friends on the trip with Robinson, according to the newspaper. <sighs> now, Dr. Carolina Beatrice said that Robinson drank a lot of alcohol and was dehydrated and unable to talk, but had stable, vital signs. Now, when Dr. Carolina Beatrice wanted to take Robinson to a hospital, the victim's friends insisted she be cared for at the villa. First of all, they knew they was dead wrong. Why would you know that at, she could not have any medical care at the villa? She needed to go to a hospital. And why would you not want her to go to the hospital? Why not? Why would, why would you not want her to go to the hospital? If that was my friend, 
I'm going to say, okay, let's take her to the hospital. But they insisted that she be cared for at the villa. So that says a whole lot right there. Now, Robinson later suffered a brief seizure and her condition worsened before her heart stopped beating and the police arrived. And that was also reported in the Observer. The FBI began investigating the case earlier this month as Mexican authorities probed it as a femicide, which is a crime against women. Now, Salamandra Robinson told ABC News she wants answers, particularly from the several friends that went on the trip with her daughter. I would like to see each one of them sent back to Mexico because their plan was to come back here thinking they wasn't going to be prosecuted, she said. She was a caring person and I want them to always remember that. We're going to keep her legacy alive. That's right. See, I heard, I'm not too sure if it's the truth, I heard that one of them left North Carolina and went to Connecticut. Not sure how much of that is true. But if they are trying to, like, you know, scatter, uh-uh, no. Their names and their pictures need to be posted all over the place so that they cannot be comfortable nowhere. They need to go back to Mexico. They need to be collected one by one, sent back to Mexico, and answer for what they have done. Because all of them, all of them in that room, every last one of them in that room, have to take accountability and they have to pay for Shanquilla's death because it's not right. It's not right. They robbed her parents of doing anything else, like, you know, walking her down the aisle, grandchildren. Like, come on. This is, uh, uh -uh. baby, I have trust issues. I don't trust half of the family, people in my family. I, I, that's why I don't do much with people. I don't go nowhere with nobody. Because you just never know. Look what happened to that young, that other lady. She was at a sleepover. Okay. And she was the only black person there. She was at a sleepover and she ended up dead. But those were her friends that she knew. And, 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 and it, it's like, I, I just, I just, I just don't, mm -mm. It's to me, I just can't. I, I just cannot be bothered with folks. I don't go anywhere with people because I just don't trust everybody. I really don't. This should not have happened to Sharon Quiller at all. And as, as the news updates, I will give you guys updates because I really want facts. You know what I'm saying? I want facts. So when I hear more about this case, on the news, or if we get more news update, because I know they have more information about it than what we're what we getting, okay? That's just how it works. But I really hope, I really hope that all six of those people, the Cabo Six, I hope they all get punished so that Shanquilla Robinson could get justice. Everybody in that room needs to be held accountable for her death. Okay? So, you guys, when I know more, I will give you an update. Please keep her family and her friends, her boyfriend in your prayers. You know, keep them in your thoughts and in your hearts because this is not easy for them. This is not easy for the people that loved her dearly and cared for her and her real friends. This is, you know, she's a beautiful woman. She had a lot going for her. This is definitely not easy for her parents. So please, you know, keep them in your hearts, your thoughts and prayers. And I'll talk to you guys later.